Hi, it's Jamie North with Glitz and Kits, and I wanted to spend a couple minutes with you today and show you how to attach a pendant onto soutache cords when the cords are too bulky to fit through the hole. So we have four. This is an example of what I'm going to show you how to do. This is a, a one of my Raku Rapture kits where we've used soutache, we've added cords, and then we braid up the sides at our clasp. So what we're going to use today is this pendant. You need uh, four strands of soutache, and I've used two colors here. Um, you need Eslon cord. The soutache I've used is 58 inches long. The Eslon is, uh, or sorry, the soutache is 50 inches long. The Eslon is 58 inches long. I've used a scrap piece of stringing wire that we're going to use to pull the soutache through the pendant. And there's a large hole. Uh, this one is a coated plastic, but it's a large. You need a large hole bead, which basically would be this section right here. So. First thing you do is you're going to decide what color you want to use. I'm going to use this, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of this color. I know the name of it, I just can't think of it right now. Brandy, I think it's Brandy. So you're going to find the approximate, approximate middle of your 50 inch of soutache in this color. And you're going to, I use this stringing wire just because it makes it a little bit easier for me. You pass it through your pendant. I use the wires so that it helps me pass this cord or this soutache through my pendant like this. And you pull it to get a loop. And then you pass the long ends through the loop. The reason that you go front to back with this is so that when you pull it up, the, the bar from the loop will appear at the front of your pendant. Now you can see this creates a big loop before you tighten it. And what you do then is you take your other color of soutache, and in this case it's patina. Italian luxury Italian soutache, which I love to braid with. Uh, so you're going to find about the middle of that too. Probably don't even need the wire for this. Pass it through and put about the middle there. And then as you tighten your loop, you're going to be capturing, you can see I'm holding it and I'm kind of wiggling it back and forth to kind of tighten it. Then spend a second or two to, to get that so that it's nice and neat. You want your, your soutache to come around, or your second color to come around the back. So it's going to be like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pass, use our little piece of wire again and we're going to pass all of those cords through this big hole bead. Now this can be a tight fit, so I'm hoping, I haven't tested this, I'm hoping this will fit. If not, we'll have to do two at a time. Uh, might have to do two at a time. Let's see. It will fit because this hole is bigger than other ones I've used. So let's try it. One, two, three, four. Five. And I got six, seven, eight. So I have three more chords that have to go through. And let's see if this works. So sometimes I find if I push it up, 
I can see the hole there. The wires go through. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we've got all of them have gone through at different levels, of course. I'm kind of doing this around a camera, which is a little bit tricky. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Okay, so we're going to tighten that up. We're going to snug this down so that you have like I've got my patina, which is the green. I hope you can see that on the side. And my brandy, which is the coppery color in the middle. Oops, pulled that one too hard. Um, you want to make sure that your cords are, they don't have to be exactly the same length. Um, in this particular measurements that I gave you, uh, you'll have more than you need. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Uh, what you do then is you put it on your your disc, which of course I didn't break down with me, but you, you put the cords on your disc. I'm going to pause here. I'm going to go get a disc so that I can show you. <laughs> 